For this sample problem, we're going over exterior materials for plan 100. So refer to your plans and specs for some additional information. This will be broken into three separate problems. The first one, one through seven, will be a review of some of the other calculations we've already done for previous sample problems that we will need for the exterior materials. So we'll review that in the first problem set. After that, we'll look at some of the other information related to exterior materials, mainly looking at the house wrap that will go on the exterior, as well as the square footage of brick that is on our front elevation. And then we will look at what area of our wall is covered by our main overhang. Our last problem set will look at all of the vinyl that will be included on the house from the fascia, the F channel, J channel, window trim, as well as the siding itself that is on the house. So again, starting off with some of our review problems that we have calculated in previous sample problems, and I will refer you back to those exact ones so you can review in more detail. So number one, we are looking at the perimeter of the building. This is one that we have calculated multiple times throughout our sample problems. Uh, mainly, uh, if you look at the wall frame sample problem, you will find how to work this out in detail. But again, it is simply going to be two times our length of 36 feet plus two times our width of 26 feet. We are not using our brick ledge when we are calculating our perimeter. So 124 feet will be the exterior perimeter we need for our calculations. Next up, we're looking at the wall system height. So this is our wall system as well as our floor system together. And we need this when we are calculating the exterior sheathing. If you look at the sample problem again from the wall frame, this is where we calculated our number initially. So the wall system height, we have our top plate. We have our stud. We have our bottom plate. And this all comprises the wall itself and then the floor system. We had our floor sheathing. We had our joist. We had our sill plate. And then whatever the specified overlap is on our foundation. So if we total up all of these numbers, we have our double top plate, three inches. We have an eight foot ceiling height, so it's 92 and 5 eighths. For our stud height, our bottom plate is just one and a half. It's a single, our sheathing is three quarter inch. Our joist is a two by eight, it is up on end. So we have seven and a quarter. The sill plate laying flat, so it is one and a half, and our overlap was specified at one inch. So we total all of up to get 107 and 5 eighths inch, or if we convert to feet and inches, we have eight feet, 11 and 5 eighths inch. With these two numbers, we can then calculate what our exterior square footage of our wall system is. And again, we will need this number when we are looking at our house wrap, as well as the other numbers for our finished materials. We simply take the 124, multiply it by the eight foot 11 and 5 eighths inch, and we come up with 1,112.125, which roughly said is either 1,112 or 1,113 square feet. Either way, it's correct. When we use this number again, we will use this unrounded number 
and we first saw this again when we were doing our wall framing sample problem. Number four, we're looking at the top cord of our roof trusses. We originally saw this when we were looking at our roof framing and materials sample problem. So here we need to take our width of our structure, the 26 feet. We need to divide it by two. We only need one side of the triangle. Then we need to add in the two feet of our overhang. This gives us our 15 feet total for our one side of our triangle. We can use the slope of the roof, the 412, to determine the height by using similar triangles. The height of the triangle is five feet. So when we use Pythagorean theorem, five squared plus 15 squared, we end up with 15.8114 or 15.8 feet as our top cord length. Number five, we're looking at our roof length. We needed this to help some of our other calculations, but where this comes into play initially is our roof framing sample problem. So you can review back to that for the drawings in more depth if needed. It is simply the 36 foot length of our house plus the one foot gable overhangs. Remember it's the gable overhangs at this point, not the main overhang. So we have 38 feet as our roof length. Number six, the roof perimeter. We use the numbers we just calculated. We can take four times the 15.8114 top cord length plus two times the length of our roof of 38 feet and we get 139.2456. So I've just rounded it to 139.25 feet. And again, this came from the roof framing sample problem. The last one in the review problem set is the square foot of openings. So this came from our openings and insulation sample problem. So this is all exterior doors and windows. Please refer back to the table that was created to help you calculate what the square foot of openings are. Again, it's the rough opening width times the rough opening height to get each of these individual numbers. When we're using our doors, remember we have to add two inches to the width and two inches to the height of the door slam to get the rough opening width and height. When it comes to the windows, we just read what is off the manufacturer's specifications or what was in our window schedule. So starting off, if we're looking at our doors, our front door is the three foot two inches by the six foot 10. Our side door is two foot 10 by six foot 10. For our windows, the A windows, we have five feet one half inch by four foot eight. The B windows are seven feet five and a half inches by four foot eight inches. C windows are five feet one half inch by three foot ten inches. 
and make sure you remember that there are five of these C windows and the D windows are seven feet, five and a half inches by four foot, one inch. So if we multiply all these out, add them all together, we got 226.42, so roughly 227 square feet of openings from all of these previous problem sets. So we will use all of these numbers, one through seven, in future calculations in both the second and the third problem sets, all for exterior materials.